Oh. Alright. Alright. How are we doing the thingy with the stuff and the words and the thingies <laughs> on the face? <laughs> the intro, I believe, is the word you're looking for. That's I think. The one, call me. Intro. Intro. Hello. Welcome. It's fact versus fiction. Oh, <laughs> oh fact. <laughs> oh, fiction. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're making memes, but this is why the podcast is starting. Uh, yeah, no, oh, no. I'm the one with the audio file. I decide when it starts. <laughs> the podcast has been going for a long time already. It's about to end, if anything. Well, without further ado, welcome, everyone listening, to Fact vs. Fiction. Uh, I'm going to be your host for this week. My name's Matt, and my toes are surprisingly good at algebra. And joining me... For the foreseeable future, or until you turn this off, I'm joined by John. Hey. Uh, yep, John. Uh, Oxo, until this, uh, before this phone call, apparently an Oxo Cube abuser. Yeah, well, he does make it like a yep. salt lick. I'm also joined by one of two Toms. Take your pick. <laughs> I'm Tom, and I think it's acceptable to call coffee bean tea. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. (laughs) (laughs) And, of course, our last uh, esteemed colleague, Mr. Corby. I like how that's how we have to differentiate between the two Toms. Hi, I'm a weeb. (laughs) That literally encapsulates you in one single Y'all can't... Well, the people at home, if they're listening to this, they can't see the setup behind me, but my God. Yeah, it's like anime vomited on a wall. Uh, it's, uh, impressive. <laughs> Isn't that the plot to Attack on Titan? <laughs> Which is the shirt he is currently wearing at the moment. So it is. Survey Corps. Anyway. I still haven't watched past season one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there is nightmare fuel with those smiles. Anyway, to- Mr. Corby, I believe you're going to kick us off with a hypothetical. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's all hypothetical because it's a question about angels again. Well, but... hypothetical. Oh, this one. Oh no, it's n- no, not the one you're thinking of. Okay. It's uh, although that is a great question. I should ask the people at home. No, I want today. I come to ask you a question: Are angels alive or dead in heaven? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> that question of do people become angels when they go to heaven? Still, when people die, it's like, has no, one more angels are like, if, if, if I'm, yeah. if I'm going off the. Uh, sorry, Tommy, okay. They're ethereal beings just... who were already there, I think. I, like, uh, I, I'd say it's almost like, uh, like because they are beings seemingly without a, so- a soul, they'd be more like constructs in a way. So almost like robots, so they are neither. They are moving material, but nothing else, But there's nothing really alive there, in my first opinion. I mean, I'm an atheist anyway, so who gives a shit? <laughs> Angel, Angel X Machina. <laughs> That's the first I mean, I, don't, I mean, I thought most of us were atheists. I just thought it was a fun topic to discuss. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, you before we started, you came out with a bloody grilled cheese tomato hypothetical. That's from a stream, <laughs> and you- if it... You swung from left to right. On. We, can't, we, we can't steal it's all the material. Only most. It, it was Those from the, the same stream. Of the spectrum, heaven and grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this is what hell is. You just go to hell. It's just like grilled cheese and tomato soup. Having I mean, a lot of grilled cheese is like you're bathing in sin. With no regrets. So if you're, if you're, if you're, <laughs> you go to hell and it's just grilled ah, cheese and sin. soup, and you're being bathed in the soup while you eat the grilled cheese, and thus becoming a pizza. <laughs> Mm. You the devil's pizza. The devil's pizza. The devil's pizza Real is a wonderful f- phrase on its own. <laughs> yeah. That, the devil's pizza. I don't even care the what like other topics we bring. That I feel like that's what I want to call the vod. The what the, the devil's hell is pizza? The, what, okay, where, where the hell on, on the moral scale then? On the moral scale, where the hell does a calzone fall? <laughs> oh, this is literally is, uh, the uh, same discussion they had on stream. What? <laughs> this is the same discussion that they had on stream. We are literally just verbat- ripping it verbatim, and I'm the only one that's seen the stream, and these three haven't. But <laughs> literally, the same debate was brought up. A calzone oh, is God. is limbo. <laughs> mm. 
Uh, it's, it's so a... when you're playing the video game Limbo, you're actually being chased <laughs> by an elder rather than a spider. <laughs> and the legs that come down are just stringy mozzarella that gets squirted huh. out when it into it's it. It's Rom, the vacuous calzone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Well, that's that's certainly loosened up my ideas. So... They were already pretty loose, I feel. <laughs> so, so in conclusion, oh, yeah. angels are dead? <laughs> sure. No, but they're angels not alive. Are dead and definitely sup of the devil's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you beat the angels, just calzones and pizza. <laughs> like, <laughs> not one pizza, but one pizza plus one folded in half. Back away, I've got a circle of sin and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> oh, so Oh dear! Oh my god! Why does it? A why was this conversation made? It sound pizza. like we've got something against pizza. I, I, mean, I, pizza I have nothing against. I love pizza. Don't we? But all? I think pizza segues quite nicely into the con- the real meat and content of today's podcast. <laughs> no, 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 no. So yeah. Yeah. here at Fact or yeah, Fiction, yeah. one week we're going to tell you all about some interesting factual stuff yeah, from random things in ancient history all the way to shit the government does. Oh uh, yeah, and. Maybe in the other weeks, uh, the two Toms are going to handle a bit of some fictional stuff. But this week, it's fact week. And John, yes. you've got to do... And therefore, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the phone, you don't know. You oh. haven't seen what I'm bringing to the table. Yeah, let's, let's wait until <laughs> we've had at least one fiction week before one we decide fishing. which is better. <laughs> well, um, you know, John, why don't you take us straight into it with your exciting and... Mind-blowing topic right. of discussion. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go head straight into one of my favourite topics, which is just stupid stuff the government has done, has actually thought this would be a good idea to do. Uh, this time we're going to head, head over to the US government in the mid-60s, which is always a fun period for that. <laughs> Let's face it, yeah. it's always the US government. The weird yeah, mm. um, this, was actually, this was actually, while bad, it wasn't... I couldn't, it wasn't like the worst thing that were going on at the time. Anyway, I'm talking at the moment about uh, Cold War. Uh, actually, Cold I was talking about MK uh, oh, MK yeah, that, that was going on for like 20 years. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is Project Acoustic Kitty, a project that was started in the mid 60s and ended in 67 quite abruptly. Uh, basically, Project <laughs> Acoustic. What? I was going to say, what are they testing on the acoustics of a cat? Well, <laughs> you how see, good a cat is at acoustic guitar? You have to remember at the time. Um, <laughs> I have to remember at the time, like <laughs> spine was going nuts. Yeah, I, I prefer electrical myself personally. Uh, anyway, um, I, I like. You have to remember at the time, sp- spyware across the world was going nuts. Everyone was trying to get a one up on it on the op- uh, mm. opposition, uh, and the Americans thought it'd be quite an interesting and clever way to try and spy upon the uh, the um, the Soviet uh, embassies uh, in their <laughs> in their lands. Basically, it was a uh, probably a, and they they thought, okay, what can we do? We need some something that can get in and out without being seen. Everyone just assumes it's there, but still has somehow got some recording capabilities on. What about That's cats? Fine. What about cats? <laughs> Let's see what happens with that. No, and uh, yeah, cats. yeah, because cats are they're they're no, no everyone sees them. Uh, well, I mean, everyone sees them. That sounds weird. That's uh, true. Uh, everyone like, sees them. Uh, <laughs> everyone sees them and doesn't care that they're there. Uh, they're quite <laughs> sneaky. And they're naturally curious, so they're probably going to get into the most annoying spaces in the world. I'm talking to three cat owners here. You yes, are. you are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my, my cat has gotten, like, behind the cupboards in the kitchen. My cat was... <laughs> Currently trying to look for Soviet Russia behind <laughs> the cabinets. Yeah. yeah. They're bound to be here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were... Sorry, say again, Matt? I say, where's the red tide coming from? Ah yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. They were they were planning this to, to eavesdrop on Soviet embassies and actually the Kremlin. I think they were going to try and eventually do. What well, they, they did drop cats in the Kremlin. Well, no, I think they were just going to set a house think... nearby and just like here's a cat, chuck it in the. I don't think they were going to actually <laughs> drop them. Like from I was going to say, <laughs> the, uh, you thought there was... no that project cat. No one notices a cat later. unless it's air dropped <laughs> into the Kremlin. Uh, <laughs> Just somebody pulls up in a black sedan, opens the doors, just a bunch of cats with presumably <laughs> sunglasses, a little briefcases. <laughs> the cat just walking. It's the cold oh. cat. It's just three cats in a trench coat. Little Russian cat. <laughs> You're not getting him, meow. Nyan. Meow. 
Perhaps they've also got bats of Russian cats. <laughs> what what I hope happens, uh, I'm going to make a prediction for, for later in this story. Which oh, may dear. Happen. yeah. I, what I want to happen is just, they get the audio back and it's just the Russian politicians cooing over the cat. Going like, <laughs> oh, kitty, kitty. Uh, <laughs> the whole well, meeting is just that. <laughs> Basically, uh... Chairman <laughs> meow. This is, where, this is where it gets um, slightly dark, because they thought, okay, um... We've got to have it so we can't exactly strap a radio pack to this thing's back because people would just well, it's it's a cat with a radio strap. See it, to it. Yeah, yeah, that's we can't let that in, can we? Probably not. Uh, anyway, yeah. uh, so basically, the, at this point, it gets slightly dark. Uh, so not dark, it's such just a little bit uh, grim because there's surgery involved. Basically, uh, they end up implanted a about a three quarter inch transmitter just to the base of the back the cat's skull. Um, Where's the aerial going uh, The aerial <laughs> is running a fine wire tied among its fur all the way around to about its tail. <laughs> so it acts like an aerial. And then so the microphone... The the microphone <laughs> I know. And, and then the microphone uh, is, is put, actually just put straight in its ear. Because it's like, they all, they all said, oh, it's free real estate. They literally said, that, that's pretty much free real estate for microphones. Let's stick it there. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a cat. Yeah, a cat with a cat with a cat with yeah, can have to be on the back of its head. And then yeah, it took an hour-long procedure, uh, and they basically uh, they found out they did a couple of tests with um, well, uh, not not live animals and live animals, and it seemed to work absolutely fine until they actually tried to test it. Uh, at which point they they tried to uh, they uh, they, re- they immediately found out that the main problem with this cat with cats doing anything was just distraction. Uh, yep. they, they suddenly realized it just gets hungry and goes in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's, we've got so oh, much intel on on this Russian <laughs> restaurant from across the street from the Kremlin. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Like, we, we know so many about Russian you. fish dishes, but we don't know anything <laughs> that we wanted to learn. <laughs> yeah, they're just, just listening in on a super important conversation. It's like, damn, we will have the missiles in position, and then it just turns and screeches off it's like you just get meow and then just the noise of something traveling through the air and then a bird being flawed <laughs> yeah or just, just, or just like the sound of like just tra- like trash cans have been just being knocked over <laughs> it's just like oh for christ's sake it's in the bins again <laughs> uh but yeah uh, they, a they... handler just leaning over the wall just like nope nope no no come back mr tiddles <laughs> god damn it mr tiddles do it for your country not the tuna <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, and uh, yeah, they then uh, they they don't see exactly what they did. They did, um, did they addressed it, the, the sense of hunger in another operation, uh, and then they thought, okay, let's it should Wait, be okay. Now. Edit out its sense of hunger. They yeah, they, I'm not sure what they did. I Wait, assume how something. Did you edit hunger. Uh, they it just says the the cat's sense of hunger had to be addressed in another operation. That's as far <laughs> as the classified <laughs> files tend to go. Yeah, addressed. That operation failed, pussy. Uh, a a <laughs> former. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god uh the, the a former like cia uh officer called victor marchetti uh, said that the project acoustic could cost it cost them about 20 million dollars <laughs> which i'm not what sure you have to remember Matt. what's the this, conversion this was, on that this was from the then to now computers that almost filled a room this is the what? 60s and they had to minimize technology to put in a cat that's an expensive ass cat. And also, they would have to have this, like a very small battery pack, so it can only operate for like a very short amount of time. Because obviously, you couldn't exactly strap a car battery window. to it, oh. just <laughs> crawling along, just trying to get there. No. Uh, anyway, someone runs by the embassy, just hucks the cat on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, oh. Twenty million, did you say, John? Twenty million dollars. I'm not in, sure if that's in, ni- in the 1960. Mm. Uh, I, th- I, th- I want to say it's modern cost, it's translated, but I don't know. Uh, don't off the top of my head. Oh, I'm, I was just going to, like, try they, and... They only declassified these files in 2001, uh, so... I don't feel like that needed to remain classified. I, I was going to say, because if that's 20 million back then, that's 174 million now. Oh, I, million. Imagine, I imagine it's 20 million now, I want to say, because I don't... Anyway, uh... I d- just done some How are they planning to get the cats into the Kremlin? Like a Trojan horse? Like, just leave it with a, a note saying this is a gift? From... <laughs> oh, God. Like it is... The traditional... Uh, who, like... who was the leader of the Soviet Soviets at the time? The 60s. Uh, would have been Khrushchev? Khrushchev. Dear Khrushchev. Yeah. <laughs> 
from the Americans. And it's just one of those classic baskets you always see, like, baskets come in, and it's just, a, like I said, it's just a cat with a very obvious radio antenna. <laughs> yes, yes. It's got, like, a, like a red beeping light on the end of its tail. You get a real into into whether it's a chess I know well. we've established how this thing works, but I've still got a great interpretation of just, like, a cat sat there with a backpack and a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it probably went friendlier to the cat. Uh, they, um... Anyway, uh, they, after all this issues, and they tried to get it going the right way and everything, addressed the sense of hunger, as apparently they did. Don't know how exactly, but basically, in a, in, on the foot, they, they tried, they tried to uh, deploy it near a, a Soviet compound. I say deploy. Uh, and, th- yeah, <laughs> and basically, it was, it was supposed, it was supposed to, it was supposed to go and just eavesdrop some people. I, I, I believe the, I, it's hard to tell, but I think the first operation was to try and eavesdrop and just some, uh, on, to uh, Soviets in a park. And the thing is, they let the cat out, the cat crossed the road, and was immediately hit by a taxi. Oh, oh no! Uh, that's, well, that's what they say in, that's what they say in mo- <laughs> most accounts believe this to be the case. Some, the head, the former head of the CIA said, or one of the officers said, uh, that no, the cat came back, we took the equipment out, and lived a long and happy life. I highly doubt that. I think that's yeah. them just trying to admit they didn't, Kill yeah, a cat for twenty million dollars. Uh, <laughs> well, they killed at least one. Oh. Yeah, but that was the first trip out. Yeah, it never, it never even made it to the target. The first, uh, and there's, there's multiple. What if uh, that taxi oh. was being driven by a dog working for the yeah. Russians? <laughs> 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 he came back from space, and now he's a now he's a cab driver. He also died in space, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if he can drive that space plight thing, he can drive fucking whatever else. But yeah, uh, it uh, yeah. By nineteen sixty-seven, the project was basically scrapped, along with any remains of said cat. Uh, and <laughs> many people basically said, "We're not hold on to remains that long." I, I assume they did because it was technically government property, but or it's been locked up in like one of the big warehouses. Oh yeah, they put it right next to the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just some files dug out by a new intern. It's like, what the fuck is this? There's a <laughs> there's a there's a really heavily redacted memo titled "Views on Trained Cats" held in the National Security Administration <laughs> archive. What? It's. Why is I don't it know. I, I probably. I guess on whom they were trying to spy on at the time. Uh, I don't know. That's a... Who knows? Maybe they're still using cats to spy on them. Uh, they actually just got really good intel on President Kennedy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it suggests that the project wasn't viewed as a total failure. A final examination. Uh, this is a quote. A final examination of trained cats. Dot dot for the use in the dot dot convinced us that the program would not lend itself in a practical way to our highly specialized needs. The memo reads. However, discover, the discovery that, that the cats can indeed be trained to move short distances was, in itself, a remarkable scientific achievement, says the memo. Wait. Move short distances. That's... <laughs> train them to move short distances in the right direction. Yay, we did it. Great. If we ever have a cat relay race, we'll be grand. <laughs> um, and... It's a small, very small race. Yeah. Also, uh, shortly agreed a race with point, you had to train the cats to pass a bat on, which I don't know if you're going to be able oh, to Oh yeah, do once that. a cat's got a hold of something, you don't want to let it go. <laughs> no, no, I mean... <laughs> now I'm just picturing that Cats with Thumbs Cravendale advert. Oh my god. But that's... A... Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's... You have the image in your head of the cat with the microphone. <laughs> the Cravendale cat. Meow. 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 But yeah, it's a subs- yes. It's say sub- subsequent tests also failed. So they did it, tried it more than once, but I'm not sure uh, how many. T- they, they want to say exactly how many times it was uh, there. Were- and obviously, after this, uh, they went on to just like let's just try and do tiny cameras, and that worked better. So you know, as technology <laughs> caught up, it's it worked. What a animal lot do you think would have worked? Uh, well, I'm as a cat expert, John, how would you have approached as the only non cat owner? <laughs> Yeah, there, there are cats in my house. I just don't know. It's my, my sister's, but uh, no, it's. Um, I, I would have thought like a small stick over the cat's head with a bit of tuna, which you could basically control to sway in a certain direction. <laughs> like just have a little servo motor and just, you know, just get it to turn slightly. Right. Uh, at what point does this cat become more machine than cat? <laughs> we can rebuild him. We have the technology. 
<laughs> Robocat. <laughs> oh. The tuna will oh. sway back and forth, and you see that the cat's head too will turn and link with the tuna. <laughs> Uh, but it shan't move forward. <laughs> It'll roll on its back and pour at the tuna. Yes. <laughs> if you move the animal, <laughs> exactly that. Either, no, either that or just ABYB, the cat will do a dance. Either that or just have some sort of airdrop to like uh, to airdrop uh, catnip on the Soviet compound. I don't know. Just like they're just like, just, what the fuck is this small little green herb? This, is, this isn't this isn't the marijuana. What is this? And just like <laughs> and then just just get swarmed by cats. <laughs> That's a bioweapon. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't give people ideas, John. Yeah, but can you just imagine working on, the, being, being the guy who's been put to work on this project and not, say, Project MK Ultra, which is just to, to the big overrunning thing, just to drug the entire... Yeah, the big <laughs> LSD one. Just to the drug one that everyone with LSD, yeah. Do you feel this project was unfunded because of MK Ultra, John? If it wasn't uh, for MK yeah. Ultra, th- this cat could have been worth way more than 20 million. <laughs> well, to, although, to be fair, MK Ultra was scaled down in the same year. So what does that tell oh. you? <laughs> I, I, I think too many, re- I think too many to resources were taken from MK Ultra to put in the cat project. <laughs> so I said, where did that twenty million dollars go? That you know, too many dumb projects. Going on Speaking of <laughs> MK Ultra, is it possible the people who conceived this project had been given LSD? <laughs> <laughs> on MK, they were just they, subjects they did, on MK they Ultra. They might idea. very Let's, well have been just kidding Let's that. put a radio and a cat. it will be <laughs> the best spy ever. Oh, God, there is... Mr. Tiddles, yeah. licensed to kill. Mi- Mr. Tiddles came to me, he says, he'll spy on the Soviets for us, so we got to give him a try. <laughs> <laughs> He you said know, he could do it, and we should have faith in him. So, oh, all we have to do is put this chip in his back, and he'll go. <laughs> we asked him how soon he could go to work, and he said, "Now." It was a. Uh, it was it was just such a poor idea. Uh, I, I love the fact they tried it, but at the same point, <laughs> a poor idea. Uh, oh. yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, pretty much the end of it. I thought I'd start off with a... It's one that quite a few people know, but at the same point, it's a very unique I've one. I've never heard of that. I've never uh, heard of that. I hadn't heard of that, no. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb, but it almost <laughs> worked. We were so close. Work. But, but the cat kept getting hit by different vehicles each time <laughs> we tried to send it to the park. Benisa Kai is a cat into a different life. God damn it! Yeah, can you, can you just imagine the poor the doctor, just like a doctor somewhere in the lab, just like equivalent of Cat Frankenstein, just going, "No, we were so close. <laughs> we could have made this work. Maybe if I had a main coon. No, sir, we're stopping. <laughs> the, of course, it's the breed of cat. That's the problem. <laughs> you fools! You should bring. You brought me Russian cats. <laughs> I demanded oh, Egyptian. I asked for a palace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was just, just too fair. They didn't, confirm, they didn't confirm what kind of cat they used, so we can never know how effective that would have been. On the cat, and find it's already got a microphone. In it. <laughs> just it. got it first. <laughs> the cat was a double agent. <laughs> Just, just taxidermy in a museum somewhere, and it's just sat with its backpack and, ca- and <laughs> microphone. The recording is still going. <laughs> Someone's just forgot to stop the record button. It's fine. Some good batteries, Jesus. <laughs> Duracell. Just nuclear powered cat. <laughs> there was a brief time where Duracell advertised the cats with microphones thing. instead of. <laughs> you beat me to it, John. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's because I set myself up for it. Oh my God. Uh, it's, uh, right. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah. Oh, it was such a poor idea. Anyway. Uh, right. Well, that does lead uh, nicely onto what I have prepped, which is also yeah. cat-related. Yeah, it's um, cat week today. Don't know why. It's cat week today. It's, it's cat facts. We all completely the letters of cat are in the word fact. To confirm, we did do this independently. I picked my thing, and then he's done his thing. Uh, it just happened. And he let slip that he was going to do something cat-related, and I... Yeah. Found an accidental fact about cats and then kind of went down the rabbit hole, so to speak. <laughs> That's your father's rabbit hole goals. <laughs> How far can this cat get down this rabbit hole? Rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, I've gone too far down. I found some cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so, this segment I have decided to title Hope versus Pussy. So, 
Just one like a student's quest. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not Pop Joanna, or it would have been both. <laughs> well, avoiding John's topic on cat related microphones, what kind of comes to mind when you think about cats? What do you associate with cats? Me- meowing. S- Com- S- like doing pains fuck in the ass, to be honest. <laughs> Kneading with their claws. Uh, mice. Eating. Sleeping. Bringing you the dead. Garfield. <laughs> That's something the Pope does, right? He brings the dead <laughs> to you. <laughs> That's what the Crusades were about, right? John Arbuckle. Lasagna <laughs> <laughs> uh, cat. Clothes. All very good answers. All very Tom good and Jerry. Answers. Not quite what I was going for, though. Most Meowth. Probably, Meow. No. <laughs> Tiger King, let's Most get the po- views. Fagpuss. <laughs> <laughs> Hit all the niches, we'll be <laughs> fine. Most Make sure to tag all of these. Where... <laughs> Just all, all in, the, in the tag. <laughs> Most commonly in history, um, going back, like, if we go further back than, you know, when we're around, they tend to be associated with religion, uh, so Egypt, oh, yeah. that, a big factor in a religion, and in Europe especially, associated with witchcraft. And, in this mm-hmm. case, Satan. Dun dun dun! Oh, yes. Now, Love me some satanic you... cats. Satanic cats are the best cats. What would I tell you if the church had previously declared war on cats? Oh. Huh. <laughs> well, I would, I'm not surprised, which is worrying. The Church itself. of England. <laughs> Not the, the Catholic Church. Oh, the Catholic Church. No, no we're talking like the Pope we, didn't crusade against cats, did he? Yeah, angry Pope then. So, the... in 1233, Pope Gregory the Ninth released a papal bull called the Vox in Rama. And just to anyone who doesn't know, a papal bull is a religious edict, not a very religious bull. Okay, good, because I was out, picturing that. Just you walk into service and it's just stood at the bar and you're granting your communion. Just, just, just imagining just, a bull officiating a, a wedding. Just a <laughs> quick second. Uh, wasn't, like, do you say 1233? Mm-hmm. Wasn't this right in the midst of, like, wasn't this, bef- that, that was after the crusade started and before they fully finished. <laughs> wasn't there bigger crusade. things on his mind at this moment than, <laughs> you know, <laughs> cat <crusade> war? <laughs> <laughs> Looked at Constantinople and went, no, there are too many cats there. <laughs> it's a small journey to Constantinople. Like, you didn't really have command over the East. But basically, yeah. this papal bull uh, stated that due to the rise of satanic sex cults in Germany, all archbishops were to aid in rooting out this cult and specifically purging the demonic entities associated with it. I wonder if this is in Crusade Those Kings. demonic entities being the cats. This is, this is, oh. this is some Sunesh bullshit. <laughs> How do sex there. cults leak to cats? I hear you ask. <laughs> These are I some want horny it. cats. That's, that's not a question I want to ask. <laughs> Today I'm going pieces. to reveal the origin of furries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, they existed way before then. Look they at did. the Egyptians. <laughs> yeah, Nubis had a, do- oh. a jackal head. But, but killer abs. I mean, they knew what they were up to. <laughs> Well, basically, anyway. over the period of Pope Gregory the Ninth's, I don't want to say rule, rain, rule, rain, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah. He basically instigated a mass purge of these cults in in Germany. He had some guy called the Grand Grand Inquisitor Conrad. Uh, I couldn't find that is a surname. fantastic <laughs> title. <laughs> that's a that's a war Grand character. Inquisitor. That's a war Grand, Grand Inquisitor Grand Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> grand in- he came forth with his chain blade and his <laughs> love for the emperor. <laughs> and was, grand the Inquisitor- uh. was Grand Inquisitor Comrade also another suggested name for Mr. Tiddles? <laughs> <laughs> it's just five cats in plate mail. <laughs> oh. Just that one who saying it, the cats leaving the army. <laughs> Well, I'm going to walk you through uh, what exactly and ha- how the cats exactly related to witchcraft and sex cults. Because they don't explicitly call cats out, but there's very heavy involvement mm. of cats. They're implied. <laughs> it's implied cats. The implication. 
<laughs> I mean, who hasn't been to an orgy and there's just a cat staring at you in the corner? So it does, <laughs> to be fair, it does put me off. <laughs> so, when initiates brought into the cult, to start with, they must approach, in the meeting area, a surprisingly large toad. Supposedly a nice <laughs> How large? Oh, that's, that's more than surprisingly large. Like, I thought surprisingly large would be like, oh, it's about, it's almost the size of a plate. That's a fairly big toad. Not dog size. Jeez. Well, well, now, that depends on what kind of dog. That's one buff big like, folk. What was that? Alsatian. specify dog size. Yeah. Great Dane. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine there were that many dog breeds in the in like twelfth in thirteenth century Germany. It was probably a typical like herding dog. So we, if you pick something the size of a border collie, we'd probably be on the money. So a border collie sized toad. Mm. They then, upon moving behind the toad, they must kiss it upon the posterior. And then... Check if it's a princess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the I, amount I, of orgies that have to be cancelled because the toad turned into a prince. <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry, guys, the whole thing's off. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go marry this person to kiss my bum. Well, we can't. We were going to start, but we can't do this in front of royalty. That they kiss the toad on behind. A, and I'm, gonna, I'm quoting here from a translation. A man of fearful pallor, which presumably means he's a pale-skinned man. So either Satan or Dracula or Tom, um, (laughs) would pop out and proceed to suck every last remnant of faith of the Catholic Church from them. Yeah, that sounds like something I'd do. (laughs) (laughs) Do that. I'm assuming he's Satan or Dracula. (laughs) Sounds uh, vampire-esque. What with the sucking. Also, I'm pretty sure I have been paid audience. to do that at least once. Just clamp some of their mouth around the nipple and just... <laughs> yeah, you... Oh, that's the good shit! That's another question. <laughs> where is the faith for the Catholic Church stored? Like, in the body. Because I, I, I would have got under, like, a limb and say the spleen. The spleen? Yeah. <laughs> that's an interesting I, theory. I just have to suck out the part of your brain that believes in God. I guess. Confirmed. The spleen is the origin of faith. Now, there is a brilliant description coming up of uh, another person involved in this or- in this uh, orgy kind of initiation. So- but first, everyone partakes in a communal feast. It is not clear if the pale man has left at this point. He may just be a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here, I'll have you know! <laughs> He's mingling. He's mingling. <laughs> <laughs> He's handing out his business cards. <laughs> Plus, I do appreciate the fact that you can't have an orgy on an empty stomach. I, oh, I like that. Oh, you've got to make sure you're, you're filled up. Yeah. Uh, and then they pay homage, and this is where the cat comes in. They pay homage to a black <laughs> cat statue that comes to life, and once again they have to kiss it on its ass. So not only does the cat come to life from worship, they now have to clean its ass for them. <laughs> What happened to the yeah. toad doing all this, by the way? Is it still there? I'm assuming the toad... It turned there. into a princess and fucked off. <laughs> God. I was imagining the toad sitting at the table and eating with everyone else. <laughs> a bowl of corn. flies. <laughs> Just... <laughs> After all this is done, and they've, they've kissed the cat, um, an orgy of rambunctious nature ensues, which presumably is just hardcore. And I don't know if the cat's involved, it doesn't say... But the cat is still there, as is the pale man and the toad. And the toad. <laughs> T- toad and or prince. <laughs> which one of us is the toad and which one of us is the... Pa- oh, no, wait, I'm the pale man. So who's the toad and who's the cat? I guess I'm probably the toad. <laughs> I guess Tom's the cat. I don't know. Like, we're just... Like, Matt's the narrator, then. You're just in there, you're diving in, you're doing makes... what you do in rambunctious orgies. Suck out the Catholic. <laughs> wait a minute. Something Catholic. <laughs> Cat Holly. Lake. Yeah. Think I'm onto something with that. <laughs> I thought we were just gonna go with Cat Lake. Oh Yeah. Not cat Hole Lick. Uh, they lick the re- cat's asshole. I just I just love the word rambunctious in it. I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone's rambunctious word. after a feat after a big feast, but also we'll see. Uh. Now, this is my favourite part of this. once this is over, the lights go back on. Which implies this was all done in the dark. 
everything from the beginning was done in the dark. <laughs> like from the to be, to to be the... fair, if a toad is watching, you probably want to do it in the dark. Just yeah. Like, oh, just seeing rumbles that increase <laughs> intensity. Just sitting there in the corner. <laughs> Occasionally you hear the croak. <laughs> what does a sexual croak sound like about? I, I was. <laughs> I think that was alright. I, wa- I wanted to make that a reference it. to that. Part of me wanted to make a reference to that Looney Tune frog, but I'm like, no, he wasn't the sex offender. That was the skunk. Oh, <laughs> oh Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, one the of frog the wasn't problematic the sex of the Looney Tunes. Oh yeah. The frog wasn't the sex offender. It just did the dance. Now, how are you assuming the lights are coming back on? Prestidigitation. Uh, <laughs> The pale man flicks a switch. They want switches back then. I guess if someone went around lighting them. Or just clicked his fingers and just went to sit down magic. But the faith that was collected earlier is coalesced into a, a glowing orb. And that you is know what? That's actually it. When I've written, when I've read you out what the description is. Oh dear. You like out of the corner of the room comes forth a man. His body shining like the sun from hips upward. It's oh. the pale man who so sucked it's... out the Catholic. No, wait. Um, this man can... is Satan. Yeah, that's Lucifer, isn't it? God. Does he have fabulous abs? <laughs> Obviously, Lucifer was the, the, been... mor- yeah, the morning star, wasn't he? So he's he... been oiling up. He's been oiling himself up. He's got those souls and he's turned them into a paste and he's rubbed them over his arms. He's basically uh, a disco ball on legs. Disco <laughs> Satan, a disco ball on legs. <laughs> Satan walks forth and doesn't say what he does. Um, so I assume they just all up and leave at that point. They just have they have oh, grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> what, do they, what do you think they were feasting on? Yeah. Grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like, oh fuck, Satan's here. Let's go. <laughs> Who invited oh, Satan? <laughs> but literally, Lucifer means light bringer, so that's it. Could be more on the fucking nose. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like it works very much like, how can we get across that this is Satan? I don't know, like the sun? <laughs> yep. that's, my, that's it. Yep. That, that's all the ends there, and uh, <laughs> everybody goes home. And... The glowing man turns up and everyone's like, I'm not fucking that, and leaves. I don't stick it in anything glowing. I'm not saying I can see the road now. I'm put off. I just love the fact that it's winking at me. The toad just uh, sat in front of us a massive calzone. <laughs> <laughs> Ribbit for her pleasure. Oh, oh I didn't say it Satan Oh, Tom, why? <laughs> oh, I, did, I, I, I completely blanked that. I just took that out of stride. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm surprised Satan didn't descend the four drums beast and just give them the devil's pizza. <laughs> Grilled cheese and tomato soup. When you phrase it like that, it does sound very much like a sex thing, the devil's pizza. I'm not sure what sex thing it would be, but, you know. Take a slice of the devil's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that like a new... Duff crust or not, you decide. Side. Take a slice oh, of the devil's God. pizza. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, oh, that's basically how the cat, the cat fits into this by basically... Being there. The, the thing. And yes. being, it's the statue. It's all just like the Satan's it's like, is that it's like progression. It's like before you go to the orgy first, you've got to lick the frog ass, and then you've got to lick the cat ass, and then finally you can eat human ass. No, no, you have to remember the the, the old the old like the weird the weird pale man has to suck the Catholic out of you. Yeah, uh, I don't know how, but he does. Uh, oh. I, I I'd have to say that's, that's. I'm sure I've done that at spiders once or twice. Mm. Uh, <laughs> God, uh, I, 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 I feel bad for the cat to be honest because it seems like the least important bit of all that he's very much been scapegoated yeah, it, the cat has to feel I feel like that's because gigantic toad. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I feel like that's because we focused more on the toad <laughs> I, I know but like <laughs> not... because like licking a toad's ass and licking a cat's ass is still fucking weird <laughs> but it, it's yeah, 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 but it's like the whole thing. Like, I'm surprised there wasn't just like a let's go hunt down pale men. But <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, we weird. need them. It focuses more on the sex and and the pale man and the toad. The cats have kind of minor role in it, but the cat was everyone just perceived this as the cat being the like the gateway drug, if you will, to satanic sex cults. Huh. Kiss the, ass of the cat, and then you're in. You know what they say? 
kiss the ass of a cat. Next thing you know, you're kissing the ass of a toad. <laughs> Well, then surely the toad is the gateway drug. Go to take okay. Toad, toads are gateway drugs to to cat kisses, cat. cat kisses. But cat kisses are a gateway drug to Satan. All right. Wait, so are you saying you go to Scalies to furries to Satan? Yeah. It's like it's like first base, second base, third base. Mate, if you've ever. <laughs> But what's a home run? <laughs> what? I mean, think about it like this, Matt. More people, more people play Argonians in Skyrim than Pidgeys. Mm. That's very true. Well, not quite finished yet because it hasn't quite related to popes fighting cats just yet. Yeah, it feels very much like the start of the war. <laughs> so far, so, this was the very first piece of scripture that actually linked cats to the devil and with witches' sabbats, and essentially is responsible for the position in which we see them in folklore yeah. in the West. Because obviously you still have um, yeah. pagan stuff to do with cats from the East and yeah. things like, like that. In many other cultures, they were still considered psychopomps, weren't they? Gateway, yeah. pe- things that could basically guide the souls of the dead. Yeah, that was more pagan stuff. Now, unintentionally, this led to extensive cat persecution. Most of it started... By Grand Inquisitor Conrad, uh, and it got to the point where some <laughs> I forgot people... about Grand Inquisitor Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> got to the point where some people, like that many cats were killed, that some people think that the drop in their numbers is responsible for why the Black Death was so bad. Right. Oh, that because they killed all the cats, no one could hunt the rats. The rats. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Also, like, side tangent, like, if we ever get popular, can someone please draw Grand Inquisitor Comrade for us? Oh, God, please, yeah. Can we draw yes. Grand Inquisitor Comrade? That's just a reoccurring character at this point. Uh, <laughs> Bring back that. Grand Inquisitor Conrad. I mean, they didn't help themselves, because other people thought that the cats themselves were causing the plague, so they killed more cats. Oh. By proxy, and then, like, oh. making the plague worse. Well, people are idiots. They used to think that bad smells would poison you. But this kind of stuff went on, like, for years and years and years. Like, it was essentially an indirect war on cats. Like, people started burning them at the stake, uh, but killing them in spring to banish evil spirits for the year. Um, a bunch huh. of other stuff. But yeah, basically, that's the Pope beginning the war on cats. And I have some fact bombs that I'm going to drop on you right now. Okay. Which fact <laughs> bomb. Yeah. So, Grand Inquisitor Conrad ended up being murdered by Henry II, Count of Seine in Germany, after he accused him of hosting the sex orgies. <laughs> Henry II got the Archbishop on his side, and then Conrad mysteriously died. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fuck, he knows too much. Get him. <laughs> who, who let him see the toad? <laughs> I'm a little disappointed you didn't say that he was killed by a cat. I thought that would have been really good. We don't know how he disappeared. Just throw just a cat You don't say how he died. Um, oh. <laughs> he had an allergic reaction to cats. To cats. <laughs> he just died like from him. allergies. I just like the idea he's accusing Henry and you just see the surprisingly large toad just hopping behind him in the background. <laughs> <laughs> just behind him. <laughs> he can't round him. You just see him going, no. Nope. No, I've not been involved. No, giant and the frog just it. eats Conrad. Of it. <laughs> just... <laughs> Turns around to leave, the frog just devours him whole. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just a, yeah. Uh, one second. I've got a couple more. Okay. In some church scripture, the cat's mousing techniques, by which I mean the techniques it uses to catch mice, yeah. have been compared to the devil stealing souls. So that's, that's, a great, that. that's a great that's a great fucking image of Lucifer mice. just like stood just like looking over someone and as they move it's just like <laughs> trying to catch him with his paw. It's like get back here. <laughs> I'll try to red dot at him and he starts chasing it. <laughs> to be fair, I mean the whole thing with devils torture people in hell and cats playing with their food is I mean I can see the correlation. It's kind of, it kinda of makes sense, but yeah, I, I'm wondering like Does that make mice souls? Yeah. I, I, maybe <laughs> I didn't. I should feel like I should have done more research on that because it's just a fact that came across at the end. I want to know if Christian scripture took on more like they use the cat to make the devil more cat-like 
to make Cat see more than one egg or something. I'd really like to know if there's a connection there. Hmm. Which way? This, yeah. Which way does this propaganda work? There was there was at some point way I can't remember which chapter it was, but uh, of, of part of the Bible they described the devil as a roaring lion hunting for prey. Oh, uh, in the hmm. that, I think that's the desert bit near, of Jesus. Yeah, you get a lot of depictions of the devil as as goat like. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, it's the eyes. Mm. And the whole and, and, the, the, and the hooves. In, it, it, yeah. in the scripture of the papal bull, he's described as having a little arm as a cat. So, at what point did Satan become goatee? When he grew that beard. When he grew the goatee. <laughs> well, to be fair, I mean, goats goats do are real like sex pests. Like the whole thing where they just like piss <laughs> each other and like uh, get the beers. <laughs> Yeah, and get the beards like um, like their beards like covered in urine and stuff like that, and just go around banging each other. They they are real sex freaks, freaks right? So I can I didn't understand even why. Kiss a the... frog first. No. <laughs> Next week on Fact or Fiction, goat sex cults. I'll uh, see what anime I can uh, dig out. <laughs> uh, actually, berserk. And... <laughs> <laughs> and my final fact for you: Belgium has a festival called Kattenstoten. Any guess is what it involves. Murdering cats? Cats. Killing cats. Yes. <laughs> Back in um, the, like, this time period, the 13th century, Belgians got it into their head, Belgian has got it in their head, that they need to, to purge cats by killing them to purge the world of evil souls. So they took to throwing cats from church belfries and then burning them. And surprisingly, this factory, this factory? This festival is still going <laughs> today. Belgium, the, the biggest factory in the world. Do they have to burn them afterwards because they threw them from the there. church, but cats always land on their feet? So they survive. Exactly. So so there is a thing. If, if, the, if the, 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 the cat stops it dying. After, after seven stories, if the, if the steep was high enough. So the cats would live and then... Do you know, they still measure like uh, depth of oceans in steeples, church steeples. Like for instance, Absolutely. the Mariana the Mariana oh. Trench is one thousand two hundred steeples, but uh, down, huh. deep. It's really weird. Yeah. yeah, this festival's still going today. The next one is on next Sunday on the ninth of May. Well then, <laughs> damn it, we I can't travel. I, I was going to say, <laughs> God damn it, wonder we recorded this next week. <laughs> <laughs> I could have posted that on that day. They truly they are. They, <laughs> they obviously don't throw live cats off church balconies anymore. Instead, they throw off fucking... church cats and then have a parade. It's very strange. The Belgian way. The Belgian way. <laughs> Stuff cats and parades. God. Oh, that's it's yeah, a good it. job that the Americans weren't trying to spy on Belgium then, because they would have just <laughs> thrown the cats out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you smell burning plastic? <laughs> <laughs> Back in the American headquarters, I think I heard someone light a match. <laughs> oh, dear. No, oh, uh, that right. is the story of the Pope versus pussies. Right. Well, that's it. That's all we got today. Some lovely facts about cats. Uh, some hilarious, some just downright odd. Um, Don't set gonna, fire to cats. <laughs> Cat lovers will hate us. We've made our first enemy. Even though three of us are cat lovers. Yeah, we really do. But you'll never know which three. I'm cat ambivalent. <laughs> well, there we go. Now so you'll know. Pretty sure we, called... <laughs> we, we did. We spent it several times. Oh, but we wouldn't want to leave all of you hanging without something to thoroughly upset you. And mm. without further ado, John's going to deliver a fact. A fact of the week. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh... Oh, yes. Uh, this one's annoying. Uh... A horse at peak performance is equal to 15 horsepower. A human is worth five. What? what? No! <laughs> you heard me! <laughs> you heard me! A human at peak performance or just a human in general? Uh, a, a, a human at peak performance, I'd say, is probably worth five horsepower. Thank you, John. You've ruined my day. That's fine. Also, sharks breed eight trees. I'm not letting that die. No! 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 <laughs> Uh, done. Yeah. I got moving for the beach. <laughs> no, if only there was some sort of log to hold myself up onto. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs>